dark like now and whenever you know where you can light them somewhat and get some images and they're not crystal clear images but when you add the colorization to them and maybe crop off some of the unneeded stuff that you know as you're shooting in the dark essentially like you are even now I mean you would really have to say you're shooting in the dark correct because you can't really see real well what you're looking at correct correct so that's how that works and so I, well, I'm, I'm in the same thing. It's almost like I'm blindsided. I'm trying to look at you and focus in the fact, okay, this, what's this camera seeing here? And clicking, not so much seeing what I'm, I mean, I'm just, you know, I'm shooting sh frames with the ideal that if that camera's doing what it's supposed to do, then everything's cool. And so far, I've, I've actually lucked out. It looks like I know kind of what I'm doing because the camera is doing pretty much what it's supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? That's helpful. Yeah, and you do that too. Though. But you have the eye for it. Well, you do too. We both do it. And when I talk about, it's funny. I feel so confident in loving you in so many ways, Tina. But one of them is naturally the connection of photography, and the fact that you have been a godsend to my photographic love. God couldn't have done been nicer to me than to put you in my life because first of all you love photography like I do. Second of all you love children. Third of all you love good affection. Fourth of all you love to learn and to I think grow in life. That it's almost a, it's almost electric. What's the better word? It's almost organic. I like that word better because you know. There's times, you know, I've come out when you were in your organic mood even, and it was like fucking nice. I mean, My garden. Like oh, very natural. Very just, you know, I captured, I got, I was fortunate, I got to capture some of it, especially that, your little girl, that little little mechanical bird, dippity doo dog, or you in that garden, you know, bent over for all the different things you had going on that year, not to mention this year. No, oh, it's back breaking this year, but it was worth it. Yeah, I love it. It was worth it. I always love you for that, baby, because uh, it's significant in my life. It's, it's a big chapter in my life, and I didn't know what, I never even had a problem with it, because it always, to me, like I said, God was being favorable to me, saying, okay, Michael, you're not perfect. You're really kind of doing some things maybe you shouldn't do, like smoking pot all the time, but it's well, bad for your house. I'm going to get down to it. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't know, actually, I didn't even know you were doing that. I didn't know you were taking getting low candid conversation. I didn't know. I really didn't. I wasn't paying attention. I, I didn't was think my, you were. I was looking at my Folgers coffee pot. I can't even see you, though. You're not even on the tape. Oh, I know that. It's just my voice. But that's good. I'm glad you... Uh, whatever. Even so if don't erase me. that one that's a black yeah, screen. Can, or I don't even care. Uh, you know, but what, it may even, even makes it more uh, authentic. We'll see. Hello, Thomas Boy. He's my kitty cat. He's my little boy. Mr. Thomas see. Boy, he's the senior cat. He's my little boy. Can't see him, are you? Yeah, he's so pretty. Can't see nothing. So he's a gray cat, a gray tabby cat. Yeah, we had to almost turn the same lights on earlier that we had on to see anything. Well. But we're cool. Voice is good sometimes. Don't you agree? Mm-hmm. 